Hi, welcome to Flutter Junction. Today we are going to learn how to use JetPicker in Flutter. For that, you need to have your project created. If you haven't uh, created your, create your project, please uh, create it after pausing the video. Right, let's move on. First, we are going to remove this. We don't need this. We are going to create our own class and we create our new file name homepage dot start we are going to import material library material package from plotter and we are going to create our stateful homepage class Homepage extends stateful widget and we overrides the state override state state of this home page. We create the state of this home page. Home page. We create a state and then our state of home page state would be home page would be home page state class underscore home page state extends the state of the home page. It also overrides the build function. Override uh, widget build and build text build context and we return our scaffold. Scaffold is the screen of the application. This is the screen and this is the scaffold of the application um, first and then we create app bar in app bar and we have the title and title takes the text argument and text takes the string that means we give our name would be tip picker it is a constant value so we are going to define const here and then body body we are going to create the container inside center and child would be text for now like i also i would like to keep padding here padding home is inserts dot call thing and we are going to call this home page here import dot slash home page dot tag and then we are going to set our home page as home page right now we are going to reload our application and here we are going we are seeing date picker and high here just like we have defined here now I am going to remove this we don't need this here we are going to place our text field text field text field is an widget where we can input our uh, text or numbers anything and it takes controller controller in controller uh, we or uh, the data is placed first we have to define the controller here uh, text editing controller I would say text controller 
equals text editing controller and add the unit state state we are going to uh, initialize the date controller what are the image state and in image state we are going to initialize the date controller the text means we are going to initialize the or we are going to set the text of date controller empty and then the our controller will be that controller and then we are going to provide some decoration 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 and here we are going to place icon icon would be icon text icon and icon text icon start that's good and we will try okay. and also give label text label text is the in text and it takes enter date label text is visible when our um, input text or a text field is empty and then we are going to make it read only so that means we cannot edit the text field or write on it and then on tab and when you reload it we are going to have date figure with enter date as in text right now we are going to uh, show date picker on clicking this text field on tab date time i would say pick date equals away so Date picker and this method or this is responsible to show our date picker and it takes four arguments that is one is context another is initial date initial date means the date that is going to be uh, visible or is selected when we when the uh, date figure is on initial date and then first date first date first date means the initial stage of your calendar that means initial year of your calendar i will give 2000 that means the date before 2000 uh, are not shown and the last date would be last date that means the end of your calendar that time I have that 21 01. Alright, this is our then on tap should be async function. Now we can have date figure on our date field. For that, we are going to now we are going to set this date on our controller that means in text field if ticket float equals no that means we have selected the date else we are going to print not selected it's no use but you can uh, use it To show or to show some error or something uh, alert dialog when the peak date is not, I think if you haven't selected the date, 
it is not equal to null we are going to set it at our date controller dot text equals our pick date dot to string twisting converts the date time to string now we are going to reload it and when you click we have our date picker and then when you select the date and then click on ok we have our date printed or set on our text field but we have here time 0 0 0 0 0 we don't need this so we are going to format it now for that you need to have the package intl install or add on your popsec ml and installing add this on your dependencies i have already Edit on my dependencies. I will uh, uh, have link on my description for that. After after reading, you have to run pop get, and then we continue to format our date. For that, we need to import Intel Intel. Now, string formatted equals date format. We have many methods here, but we are going to use this format y y y y dash mm dash dd. That means we are going to only take year, month, and date. Dot format our date. That means pick date. And then we are going to set this formatted date in, into our controller. And then we are going to reload it. Right. And when you click it and select 30, and click on OK, we have only our year, month and day. Oh sorry 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 it should be month month. We are again going to reload it at restart. It was a minor mistake. For the proper formatting you can visit this date format class you have different uh, methods of formatting symbols and also get date or any month it will be very helpful i will uh, provide this link on description too now we click on this select date and then click OK and we have year, month and date on our text field. Alright, uh, this was for today. If you have any queries regarding this video, uh, please ping me and comment. I would address all of your queries. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe and share it with your friends. Uh, if you want me to or if you want to recommend me uh, to make videos 
on your topic please ping me and comment or you can mail me at plotterjunction at the gmail.com thank you